What's up guys and welcome to tonight's random horror game. This game is called The Radio Station and it's made by Chillis Art. I'm probably saying that completely incorrect, but this is a game developer that I've had. You guys have been requesting me to check out his games for a very long time. I think he made Night Delivery and a bunch of other random horror games. So this is his newest one. It just came out a few days ago and I figure, you know what? If you guys want to see me play more of his games, be sure to leave a like on this video down below. Drop a comment down below of a radio emoji because it's called The Radio Station. And uh, if you get a ton of likes and a ton of support on this video, I will go back to his other games like Night Delivery and stuff like that and we'll check them out and uh, give them a go. Anyways, for right now, let's go ahead and press new game and hop in. All right, this looks promising though. I there's another game that I remember. It was like you were in a watchtower and there's like a monster like hunting you Masaki and oh. Masaki died. Masaki. Okay. One day I found that message right after I woke up in the morning. That can't be. No way. But but I just met him the other day. The man who was happily talking that. Talking that his radio job was getting on track died? I couldn't believe it. After hosting the radio, as always, he was found dead at the radio station. The cause of his death is not clear. Not clear? What does that mean? The police have given up on the investigation. Early on, classifying the case as a suicide. Suicide? That's bullcrap. That day... That day, something must have happened on, on the show. I decided to find out what happened to my brother by myself. Oh, so his brother got his dream job at the radio station and then, boom, dead. Now, what do we got here? Oh my god, this is a big old flashlight. Alright, so, ooh, okay, this is creepy looking. Got a house key, I guess that's how we get out. Letter from the radio station owner. The key to the radio station in the mountains is in the mailbox at home. You may take it if you need it. Hashimoto. Okay. Let's go ahead and go... Uh, what happened to my flashlight? Hello? Oh, I gotta, like, re-equip it, I guess? Yeah, there we go. Alright, well, we got a key, so uh, let's go ahead and make our way over to the radio station. This game is very dark and creepy. Actually, let me check. Is there any way to turn up... Yeah, there is a brightness. I should probably turn this up for you guys, and also... Yeah, make sure film grain is off. Alright, let's try turning up the brightness for you guys, because I imagine on YouTube it's probably really dark, so... There we go. Is that better? <laughs> Can you guys see a little bit better? It's still really dark, but it's got to be better than what it was before. Aha. Uh -huh. Is this my whip? Yeah. Get on car. Get Wait, get on car? I mean, sure. Whatever your uh, preference is. I'd prefer to get in it, but you want to get on it. All right. So, wait. Can I actually... Oh, my God. I can actually drive... Oh, my God. I'm driving like a maniac. Oh, my God. That's a dead end. Okay. Who taught this man how to drive? I'm driving like a fiend right now. Holy. Okay. We're fine. That was interesting. All right, so wait, where am I at on this map? Hold on, let me see. Okay, there I am. Ooh, so we can actually like drive around and stuff. That's kind of cool. All right, I feel like I'm gonna crash at any moment, but is there a roadblock up ahead or is like, oh, it's a tunnel. Okay, cool. All right, so we gotta go. There's the radio station right there. There's the other house, but for right now, let's just go to the radio station, I guess. Let's stop there. Actually, no, wait, he said the key would be in the mailbox, right? So I probably can't go in here yet, but we should probably stop in just to make sure. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. This is the station. Enter. Yes. Even though I, I don't have the key, so I don't think I'll be able to, but like I said, let's just have a look. All right. You know, have a little look around. All right. Where's my flashlight at? So this is where the bad stuff happened. Ooh, we got coffee there. Cool. Different drinks. I need the station's key. Okay. That's what I figured, but... Let me just have a look around, you know, maybe anything, uh, ooh. Is that a m ape? A gorilla on the thing? I don't know what that is. What about the back door? All right, he needs a station key, fine. Oh, wait, it said I can investigate something. A, a question mark popped up for like a second, but I don't know what it was popping up on. I don't know what it was, what was that? What was I looking at? All right, I don't know. Let's just go. I could have sworn, all right, wasn't there a question mark there, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below, but I could have sworn there was. All right, let's get out of here. So, we gotta go to the house that is... I think it's circled on the map and everything. So, yeah. It's, yeah, it definitely wants us to go to that house. Okay, where am I? I gotta go straight. This is interesting, actually, being able to, like, free roam around in a horror game. Definitely not used to that, but it's pretty cool. Alright, so... Through this, through this way we go. Whoa, wait. Is that a person? Oh, that's a... Okay, he had to have done that on purpose, the developer. Because that looks just like a little person. Oh, man. It's up on a mountain? Dude, mountains terrify me. I hate mountains. Because as a kid, uh, my grandparents, they lived in Tennessee. And they lived up on a mountain. 
and it was terrifying. It was like a steep mountain too. And ever since then, dude, growing up, hate them. All right, wait, we gotta go this way. Oh my gosh, dude, this guy, this thing's got some power behind it. So do my hand, like look how I turn the wheel. I turn it super fast. All right, so it's this way. All right, now I should be able to, yeah, just drive straight until we get to the house. I can finally look at the road. <laughs> if there was anyone else on this road with me, oh man, that would not be good for them. Dude, there's rocks in the road? That's crazy. Imagine you're driving, you just hit a giant boulder. All right, I think this is the house right up ahead. Yeah, this is it. Wait, is that it or is it? Okay, I crashed. Hello, car? Hello? Oh my, car, calm down, calm down, car. Holy, <laughs> this car. Okay, here it is. Just get, just park it quick. Yes, enter, please. Oh man, that car is wild. What the heck? All right, we're here. Okay, so where is this key at? Should I turn up the, I feel like I should turn up the brightness more. Wait, why is it, it's negative brightness right now. Wait, what if I put it at like normal brightness? How bright is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, is that how the game is actually supposed to look? Oh, dude, I can see so much more now. <laughs> okay, can I go in here? Oh, why is there? Oh my God, the mailbox, the key. Why is there uh wait, pull back out the flashlight. That's a lot of red stuff. I don't know if that's what that is or not, but can we see inside the, oh no, okay, that's like a weird reflection on the house. Now I can't go in at all. I don't think I can use, no, I can't use the key on it either. Okay, so let's take this key, let's bring it back to the radio station. And then we should be able to go ahead and uh, use it there and open up the, you know, the radio station and go inside. Let me see my map, okay. This car has a mind of its own, dude, it really does. All right, there's nothing circled on the map. So yeah, I think we just have to go back to the radio station though. Because he did say the radio station key was in his mailbox. So I can go in there though if I wanted to. But let's not. Okay, what am I cra- How am I crashing into everything right now? Hello, this car <laughs> has a mind of its own, dude. Okay, this way. I, it's probably because I'm not looking at the road because I'm trying to look at the map to see where to go. All right, here we go. Any creepy secrets in like the buildings or anything like that? I don't think so. All right, let's go ahead and turn here. Turn, turn, turn. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're not crashing. We're not crashing. Holy. That was close. All right. We're, oh my gosh. We're going to, we're about to go off-road. We're about to go off-roading. Okay, we're good. All right. Just, okay. Just a little crash. Nothing too serious. Go ahead and shift gears. Can you actually see the gear shifter? Like, does it actually move? No, I don't think it does. I mean, we wouldn't be able to know unless we turn around or something, but. All right. We're almost there. I do a quick little turn right here and we're there. Okay. I thought we were. No, I think it's a little, there it is. All right, watch this drift, watch this drift. Here we go. And you gotta whip the wheel this way and then in we go. Okay, we made it. So let's go ahead and pull out our little key here. Our little key and bring it over to the little door right here and head on in. There we go. Ooh, this looks spooky. Keyboard, what? Who puts a keyboard in a corner like that? Hello? There's... Oh man, this is creepy. What's this? I got something. A cassette tape? Don't know what I would need that for. Anyone out the window that looks creepy? No. Alright, I don't see anything else in here. Let's go back out here. So I can open this door if I... Okay, it's already unlocked. Nice. Alright, we're gonna leave that closed for now, because, you know... Oh, I can put the tape in here. What the heck is this? What is... What? Masaki's Horror Story. Hi. Hello there. In this segment, I and Masaki will read... Oh my god, it's going so fast! Okay. It's going at the speed of light. But the okay doesn't go by fast, but everything else does. So, let's start reading. I think that was just a bug. It is a letter from Toko. Toko? Toko. My classmate has a sixth sense, and this is a story about her when she was in elementary school. She was born with her power. When she was a preschooler, it wasn't too extreme. I did not just open up a monster energy drink. She couldn't see a ghost clearly, but she saw foggy figures and also felt certain places. Okay. But when she became an elementary school student, she started seeing them more, more clearly. It all started when she found out that no one else could see the man who was always standing at the same spot. She said she began to feel the horror of being able to see since then. A couple was having tea at a cafe, but the boyfriend had no leg. Okay. 
A pretty girl was playing in the park, but she was transparent. Fortunately, she couldn't hear them. Wouldn't you want to hear them, though? And maybe because of that, they didn't cause any actual harm to her. So she became less conscious. Okay, I think it was when she was in her fifth grade. When one ghost started following her. Ooh. It seemed that the ghost was always saying something, but she couldn't understand what it was saying, which annoyed her. One day, an incident happened. She was playing with her friends that day, and it got dark without her realizing it. So she was hurrying her way back home, alone. Because it was dim, even a little noise scared her. And that's when she was spoken, Good evening. She turned back and saw a middle-aged man. Are you alone? I could give you a ride home. She was scared by the man, so she declined the offer and tried to walk away. So you never say you're alone. But the man grabbed her by the arm and she said, I'm telling you, I will... Uh. She was so scared that she couldn't even speak. Then suddenly the man screamed and ran away. Oh, the ghost protected her. She looked in the direction he was looking at, and there was the usual ghost. Was the ghost watching over the child? But I thought no one else could see beside her. One out of seven. My brother's voice? It said there are six more of these tapes. I have to find them all. Okay. Interesting. So, she, no one else could see the... Oh my god, I thought that was a ghost right there. It was a shadow. No one else could see the ghost besides her, but then the old man was able to see her. And that was because he was attacking her, though. Alright, let's go in here. Ooh. What's that? What did I just get? Oh, another tape? I think? What is this? Hold on, let me try to put it in here and see. No. It's not a tape. What is this? I don't know. I can't use it yet, so let's just hold on to it. Alright, so wait. Is there anything else in here? Anything on, like, the door fridge? No. Alright, in here we go. Where's the next tape at? I know you're hiding it in here. Where is it? Anything creepy outside? Just my car. Which I just left parked in the road. <laughs> well, then, it's a good thing no one else is on that road, because, man, oh, man, they would have had a hard time getting around that car. Alright, there's nothing here. We might have to go to the next part of the map to find the next tape. Because as you guys know, there was like a building I could go to further up. So I might need to go there. Because yeah, I don't see anything else here. I did get something, but I, I don't know what it is. And I don't exactly think it's anything too important for now, at least. Alright, let's head out of the building. Hold on, let me see. I want to see what I'm holding. Yeah, what is this? It's like a report card or something. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, maybe we can use this at the house. Let's go ahead and get in the car. Leave the area? Yes. I mean, it's a free roam game for a reason, right? So we probably do have to go, you know, exploring a little bit. Alright, the car is driving backwards. Okay, so let's try going to... Should we go to the house? Okay, dude, if I could just actually drive this car, dude. Holy! It's like driving, driving a NASCAR. Alright, this way, this way. Okay. So let's try going to the house first. Okay, see, see that house on the top left? Not the one that we got the key from, but the other one. Wait, there's also like a dumpster we could go to on the way to that other house. There's probably a tape at like each of these locations. So, I mean, if we can hold all of them, we might as well just go to each location and then come back here later on after we have them on and then listen to them. Because yeah, I definitely want to hear the rest of that story. Okay, so if we go this way, instead of turning right here, we go straight. And then we turn right up ahead. Now, there's another location to the left, but I... I don't know what that is. It has an icon. It almost looks like a vending machine or something, but... Oh, no, dude. Look at this. Oh, this is horrible. Climbing up this little mountain. This isn't as bad as the ones in Tennessee, but it's still creepy. All right, we're here. What is this place? Ooh, looks abandoned. It's a warehouse. Enter? Sure. Why am I entering a random warehouse? So many questions. All right, what do we got here? Can I... Ooh, it's just open. All right. Oh, my. Wait, what? What the? Wait, what is? What the heck? Wait, this is just a bunch of... It's just a bunch of doors. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> I thought it was like a PT-style room, but no, it's literally just a bunch of doors. Hold on, open all of these. What is the point of this place? This is locked at the end. It's so weird. What kind of warehouse just has a bunch of doors in it? That all lead to the same area. What? It leads to this room. But you can't actually get into the room. The door didn't open when I tried it. I think we need a key for it or something. Even though... Wait, there's a car here. What? Who? 
Wait, what? Whose car is that? Hold on. What? Who is that? What the? There's other people here. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's like a vill. What? The doors are all reset. You have to go through like a certain door to like get the door to open at the end. Hold on. Let me reset this. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, the door's reset. Okay. So is there some kind of like pattern to get through this? Or is it? This is the weirdest thing. All right, let's let's get out of here for now. I don't know. This building is so strange. I don't like it. It's so strange. All right, so let's go to the vending machine area then. Cause I feel like there's probably something there. I, actually, I don't know what that is though. It could be anything. But okay, so let's go this way. I just have to go straight, take a right, then take a left. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna try to not look at the map. So take a right, then take a left. Oh my gosh, dude! Look at the hills. Ah. Okay. Don't. No, okay. Watch this drift. Watch this drift. Huh. Okay, that didn't work out very well, but it did at the same time because I didn't crash. All right, we're here. No, we're not. Okay, we're almost there. There it is. You can tell we're, like, where you have to go because the giant light is always above it. All right, what is this? This is a vending machine area. Oh, it is a vending machine area. Okay, well, let's have a look around. What do you got for me in here? Oh, DVD video. I haven't seen that logo in forever. Ooh, public phone. Public phone. Wait, can I use this here? No. I still don't know what this is, but... I mean, I know what this is, but I'm saying I don't know what this piece of paper is. Alright, so where are the... Oh, dude, vending machines! My favorite! Oh, what's this? A flashlight. Oh, a UV light. Oh, maybe I can use this on the doors. I guarantee that's probably what it is. That's gotta be... Wait, is there anything on the phone now? This will pick up? No, okay. This has to be for the warehouse. Let's go give it a shot. Alright, we made it to the warehouse. Let's see if this will maybe reveal... I think that, that that's what this is. Like, I think there's like a certain door path that you have to take. And maybe this will... Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Game, too obvious, okay? You can't have a million doors like this and not expect this to be the puzzle. All right, so let's go... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, you, what? What are you? Wait, wait, what the... What was that thing? Hold on, show up again? No, okay. What was that thing? A little goblin. All right, what's this? I got a phone. Why does it always auto-equip stuff whenever you grab it? <laughs> it leaves me just sitting in the dark. All right, so now that we got this, let's have a look at uh, what this is. All right, so what is this? A phone or... I don't know what... What is this supposed to be? I wish you could like... Oh, you can. Cool. Vocal recorder. Okay. How, can I inspect my other items? Because I want to know what this is. Vending machine ticket. Oh, okay. Dude, I would have never known that if I didn't find that inventory button. <laughs> a vending machine ticket. I guess they have those where this guy lives. I've obviously, you know, in the States, there's I don't I've never seen a vending machine ticket before. You just put a quarter in there and you, you know, get a soda or something. Or well nowadays, I think they use credit cards and debit cards. Technology has come so far. <laughs> when I was a kid, dude, you had to use a little you had to use quarters or dollars. Which I mean, and then again, at most of them you still have to, but. All right, watch this drift, and we're in, and we're out, and we're in. There we go, perfect driving. All right, this way, there it is right there. Wait, but we were here. Oh, but I didn't have it out. Let's have it out this time and uh, walk up to the different vending machines, see if we can do anything with it. I also want to try the vocal recorder on the, the phone, even though I don't think that'll do anything, but... Yeah, no, that does nothing. Okay, so we have a vending machine slip. Oh, wait, are there... Wait, there's tapes in this one. Wait, what? Oh, what? I got... Oh, I thought I was going to get tape. Why is there a tape machine here? And what did I just use this on? I got a cup of ramen. I hope that's what I was supposed to use that on. That's the only one I had. I got a cup of ramen, dude. What am I going to give the ghost ramen? Is he hungry? I don't know. Okay, let's let's get out of here, dude. Yeah, leave. All right, so what do I have? Okay, I've got a tape recorder. I've got a cup of ramen. A UV light. <laughs> And that's it, dude. Oh my god, I'm crashing. All right, you know what? Let's go to the dumpster over there with that little trash can. And let's see if we can do anything there. Oh, okay, we're here, but look, there's a car broken down. That's the car we saw, I think, right? Remember how I saw one other person here with me? I think... Oh my god, that's a really small car. What is that? There's something... A tape! Okay, dude, the ghost was driving a car. No, I don't want to leave. Dude, the ghost found out how to drive, and he's very small. He found out how... He's like a... Really small midget ghost, and he drove the car into the fence. I don't know. I tower over this car. A padlock. Okay. Oh, oh, what's that? Rats. Oh, dude, I got ramen for you. Yes. 
<laughs> That's what it was for. Another tape! Yay! Okay, so they're just staring at that ramen now. Alright, I mean, we're just kind of getting lucky at this point, but... For right now, let's go ahead... Okay, so I need a key for this, which I don't think... Any of the items I have... I mean, I don't think a tape recorder is going to be able to open that up now. Um, let's go ahead and get back to the radio station, right? Because now we've got two new tapes we can listen to. Hopefully... They're in order, because I definitely don't want to hear the story, like, out of order. That would suck. And then, after that, we'll figure out what to do next. Because I, I need a key for that, but... Where have we been... Why is my car making so much noise? Where have we been that there were... What's wrong with my car? I don't remember it making noises like this, but maybe it did, and I just forgot. Okay. Hello, dude? Do a reverse? Can I turn around? Oh, my God, you can. That's creepy if there was something back there. All right, so... What? Why is my... What was that? There was something... The car... The car is broken. What? Is that... I can't... Oh my god, what? There was something... There was something behind the car! Oh my god. That gave me the goosebumps. I don't know. I knew that was gonna happen, dude. I was like, that noise. We never had that noise before. There's something behind the car. I didn't even get to see it, though. I was trying to focus on what was up on the mountain. Oh my gosh. All right, you know how like whenever you get scared, it makes you have to like want to go to the bathroom? That's what I'm feeling right now, okay? <laughs> like you get so scared that like it just makes you have to go to the bathroom. Okay, go here, go here. Okay, enter. Perfect. Perfect driving, perfect driving. All right, so let's go ahead and get these tapes out and ready to go. Uh, where's my flashlight? Is there anyone in here? Oh, we've got to survey the area first. Oh, what's this? Okay. So, um, let me see what tape is what. Tape... Oh, they're not labeled. Alright, let's go. Oh my gosh, that is so loud. What was that? I should really close the door behind me, but... Whatever. Okay. Masaki's Horror Story. Thanks for joining us again. Horror Stories. Now let's start with the letter as always. We have a letter from Tok Toko. Same name. Can't say it still. Oh? It's the same person who sent us a letter last time. The last story was good, so I'm looking forward to this one as well. I think this was when my cousin was a junior high school student. My cousin was very depressed when her family got sick. My cousin still says that that was the lowest of her life. Her family got sick, but she couldn't do anything, making her frustrated, anxious, and emotionally unstable. She, become, uh, she became unable to attend school. She didn't feel like doing anything. And spent her days just looking at the sky and sighing. However, she had one hope. Would you make a deal with the devil or something? It was her best friend. She had a friend she hit it off with at elementary school, and they were very close. Her friend was worried about my cousin, so she came to her house every day. And she listened to her and empathized with her irritation and anxiety. The friend also talked about fun things at school and made my cousin laugh, casting light on her dark days. She even stayed over at her house sometimes. One day... My cousin was looking forward to her best friend coming. She casually looked at the clock and realized it had passed 30 minutes from her friend's usual... Okay, maybe her club is prolonged, or perhaps she's too busy to come today. I don't know what happened. Cousin kept telling herself. The tick-tock sound from the clock became louder and louder. She thought she heard the ambulance siren in the distance. Then... A phone call came in. Her friend had a car accident. Oh, no. Her best friend was forever gone. Oh, my goodness. She blamed herself and thought there was no point in living anymore. She decided to commit that. Oh, my gosh. When my cousin was about to throw herself off the bridge, she heard a voice calling her. It was her best friend, right? Still, she tried to jump off, but it called again. Not only that, but a girl's face appeared in front of her this time. It was the face of her best friend. Oh. She was so surprised and overwhelmed. She broke down and cried. Mm. And she stopped. 
Wow. It was just that one time, and after that, she couldn't see her. Still, her friend has been and will always be special. Dang. Yeah, these stories, I like them, but it, the problem with them is, like, certain points, they really speed up. And then, oh, how'd the door close behind me? Yeah, certain points, are like, the, the text just speeds off, and then other points, it, like, slows down, so... I wish it was, like, the same speed so you can actually read it. All right, tape three. Just have four more after this. It's creepy in here, dude, with just me and this tape machine. If I was this guy, I'd be facing that way. Ah, yes. We are back at it again. What kind of story will come out this time? Let's read the letter. It's the same guy again, right? Yep, it's from Toko. It's this person again. The stories that Togo sends us are heartwarming ghost stories. Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say that. So I'm looking forward to it. What kind of ghost will come out this time? I think this was when my friend was a high school student. Okay, a lot of high school student stories, or school stories. My friend's family was hosp hospitalized, so she went to the hospital every day. Hmm. The hospital was a polyclinic with many doctors and nurses, and people were always going in and out of it. Okay. Maybe it was the time of year when staffs are shuffled around. She felt there were many changes in people. She stopped seeing familiar nurses and saw many new nurses. As usual, she went to the hospital to visit her family, and she passes by a new nurse in the corridor. Okay. Because the nurse came from the direction of the room where her family is, she casually asked her family, new nurse came again? But her family replied, who are you talking about? Was it my misunderstanding? Is she a nurse from before or a nurse from a different room? Hmm. But I sure remember her coming out from my family's room. Many questions came to my mind, but I tried not to think about them anymore. Then, a middle-aged woman in the next bed spoke to them. She said, because it's a hospital, things happen. She smiled a little and gave one candy each to my family and me. Mm, why is she holding candy like that? The lady was amiable and charming. When I came to visit my family a few days later, I stayed too long, and the visitation time was left short. After I went to the bathroom, I headed to my family's room to say goodbye before returning home. Then I saw the door open of the room where my family was, and the nurse I saw before came out. For some reason, I quickly hid, and as I watched, she came out with the lady in the bed next to her family. Hmm. What was in that candy? The lady was walking hand in hand with the nurse. I immediately entered the room where my family was and asked about the lady. When my family told me that the lady wandered out of the room alone, I hurriedly chased them. I saw the lady and the nurse. Ma'am, ma'am, I called from behind. As if they could, as if they didn't hear me, they didn't respond. Of course, the nurse does not look back at me and walks together. The two stopped in front of the elevator, so I ran to them. I finally caught up when they got on the elevator, and I was able to grab the lady's arm in the elevator. Ma'am, are you all right? When I said that, the nurse glared at me and disappeared. Hmm. It's just me and the lady who doesn't remember anything on the elevator. The B2 button was pressed. As I learned later, the second basement floor was the morgue. Oh. Where did the nurse intend to take the lady? That is creepy. Three out of seven. Dang. Those are some good stories, man. They are pretty creepy. Um, all right, so what do we got? Okay, so I got a tape recorder. I still need a key, though. So I don't know where I'm going to get that from. All right, now here we go. All right, so... Oh, I leave the area. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see a building over here. I never saw this before. This could be where the key is. Wait, there... 
What? Hello? Uh... What? What the heck? Who is he in here? That's creepy. There was a guy in here. Wait, it's letting me select something. There's something odd about this monitor. Break it. How do I... Yeah, break it. Is there a key inside of it? Because I really need one. A new tape! What the heck, dude? That's weird. Is there anything else I can do in here? No. Okay. Oh my god! Hi, 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 hi. Oh, that's not fun. That was not fun at all. That was not... Oh man, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. That's not fun, dude. Alright, let's just continue. Pretend that didn't just happen. Oh my god, dude. That Oh, that got me good. Alright. Tape 4. Come on. Masaki's Horror Story. We only have three more. Hello there. I will read horror letters as always. This is a letter from Toko. Okay, him again. This person has become familiar. I mean, dang, you'd think he'd choose like other stories. What kind of story is it this time? The story of a girl I met recently at my part-time job. Depressing days have passed since her brother was hospitalized. Oh my gosh. The girl went to the hospital every day for her brother and was taking good care of him. Okay, sorry. This is the same person as usual, right? Huh, yeah, it's Toko. Excuse me. The writing style is different from usual, so I thought it was another person. Let's get back to the story. When I went to the hospital, as usual, my brother's doctor... What? Two? Excuse me. What? Capital letters are used in weird places. Oh, is he trying to like say like a help thing? I will continue. My brother's doctor was standing. He got me to another room and after some silence, the doctor... Oh my god. There's not much time left for him. Oh my god. I went to my brother's room and there was, here he was smiling as always. See, this is what I'm talking about. What was that? I couldn't read half of that. After that, I tried to go to the hospital as much as possible when I had time. Like so, the month had passed, and it's been three months since I talked with the doctor. It was a little colder than usual that day. On the way to the hospital, a little boy called me. What? How did a little boy get your phone number? Mom? I'm not your mom. The boy almost started crying when I said so, so I decided to look for the boy's mother. Oh, okay, I thought he meant like ringed him on the phone. <laughs> Soon we found his mom, and I handed him over. The boy's mom saw me as she was leaving and asked, You look tired. Are you okay? She said, My house is right around the corner. Please come and rest. I didn't realize at that point. Oh my god, so I accepted my mom. The boy, my mom, a slice of cake. Okay, she served me a slice of cake. Okay, and tea. I sighed in relief and made myself relax for the first time in a long time. You just went to some random people's house? Such a sweet time had passed by the blink of an eye. By in a blink of an eye. Is the time okay, I was asked? I looked at the clock and there was only one hour left till the end of the visit time. Hmm. It didn't feel like I stayed that long. It'll take 30 minutes from here to the hospital. I left the house immediately. So you have 30 minutes left at the hospital. I forgot to say a proper goodbye. So I turned around and there was no house. Okay. But I had no time to think about it. My cell phone rang as I was rushing to the hospital. I didn't notice the sound, soft sound in my pocket. When I arrived at the hospital, a little boy who looked like my brother stood in front of the door. You, you just... What? I found that strange and approached him. I felt, I felt like the boy asked, What were you doing when I was suffering in pain? I entered the hospital in a hurry, but it was too late. I called my brother's name and cried loudly. Mm. 
Why? At that moment, oh, I felt that something was coming. Two men. It's the caps again. So the letters T O and then Min was in capital letters. Excuse me. I was I gonna say like two minutes or something? Oh no, that wouldn't be the right two though. Coming inside me. Oh no, what's going on? Since then, my brother is always watching me by my side. Always. Oh no, I'm not looking to the side. I'm not looking to the side. No, I knew it. I'm not. I knew they were going to do this crap. Oh my god. He said, me and my brother's always watching me to the side. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he, huh? Is he in here? The brother? Huh? Where is he? Is he to my side? Out the window? Out this? Just do it already. Where is it? Where are you, huh? Okay, he's not here. Whew, I got a little worked up over nothing. Okay, nothing to be scared of. Let's get outside and get back in the car, I guess. I don't know. I have like three more to go. Is this guy back in here by any chance? No. All right. Well, let's get back in the car. Yeah, let's leave. <sighs> All right. So we need a key. We need, um, well, let me check the map. Is there anything highlighted? No. The house back there. No. Um, where can we go? I feel like we've been everywhere, right? Because we got the key from there. There is the house I started at, but let's have a look around. Oh, there's a coin down. How did I miss this? Oh, we can use this on the phone now. There we go. Okay, I've been looking around for I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> there's a coin there, dude. All right, so now I can bring this to the phone and uh, use the phone and probably get another tape from that somehow. I don't exactly know how, but... Let's go ahead and bring it over there and see what we can do. All right, so we made it to the station. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so I got the yen. Use that. You never look up, do you? I'm not looking up. Why? Oh. Oh, wow. That's it, dude. <laughs> the tape is on the ceiling. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay, so there's one other thing I wanted to try here. And it's up oh, there. Okay, I knew it, dude. Because I knew this one had a tape in it. So we only need one more. And yeah, you can use this. Hold on. Can I interact with any of these other vending machines or... Is there anything that this light will pick up with it? I don't think there is. But can I interact with this one? No. So this is the only one I can interact with. All right. So yeah, that makes sense. So the code is uh one. What? How do you type this in? Two one four three, I guess. Two one four three. Uh, gimme. No. Okay. It's not one two three four. What is it? One three two four. One, three, two, four. No. How would you know the... What? Oh, okay. I think I get it. No. That still wouldn't be in order. There has to be a way of, like, typing these in order, but... Because if you do it like this, two, one, four, three... Yeah, I already did that already, though. All right, hold on, guys. Oh, okay. This is how you do... It. Okay, so... One is the first number, right? But if you take it as the keypad, that's the number four... So it'd be four. Two is the second number, so it's literally the number two. Um, three is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. This should be it. Yep, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so wait, how many tapes do I have now? I think I have two, right? Yeah, I've got two tapes. I only need one more tape, dude, and then we win. Oh my goodness. So I need a key. I need a key, and then that's it. So the last tape has got to be in that like keyed in area. So that means whenever I listen to these tapes, something bad is probably going to happen <laughs> and a key is going to spawn somewhere so we have that to look forward to i guess oh my god what is ay yeah yeah can i get out of the car can i run it over again hit it again hit it again holy it broke my whole car dude what was that did i miss the no <sighs> all right that's fun you know just get hit, get hit by a, a wild pig or a boar i don't know what that was i think it was a boar Let's go this way and uh, pretend like that didn't just happen. All right, what's next? Yeah, I said I told you there was gonna be a jump scare or something. I'm surprised that board didn't have like the key in it somewhere. I don't know. It didn't like drop the key whenever I hit it with the car. Who knows? All right, let's just quickly get back to the radio station. Actually, I have the tape player. Can I listen to it on there? I think you can, but I don't know. Let's actually try that. Let's go. Let's stay out here. I'm gonna park the car. 
Because you can, like, inspect... Oh, wait, there's something... I just realized there's something behind the, the station. Hold on a minute. Yeah, back there. Look. Is there any way to, like, get back there? Hold on, let me see. Can I use this tape player? Yeah, how do I... It's a voice recorder. Uh, I thought maybe you could, like, use the... No. All right, let me... See. Oh, there is a way back here. What the... How do I get over there? Oh, my gosh. Wait, there's this. I don't know what this is, but... Oh, you can't... No, you can't actually get over there. But there's this. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that works, too. I found something. What is this? A bicycle lock. Huh. I mean, I can't use anything on this, so... Let's get back to the station and uh, listen to the other tapes, I guess. Even though I really don't want to go in there, because I know something scary is going to happen when we do, but... Why is it... What the... Can I play the tape through the wall? Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. Why do I have the creepy light out? Get the good light out. Okay. Let's listen. So three more stories, and then we only have one left to find. Oh my god, the creepy knocking dude. I hate it. Here we go. I'm just happy that this radio had, has had such amazing feedback lately. So, I will be reading as always. Where's that knocking coming from? Oh no. Nope. I'm not doing it. Oh my god, no. Oh, there's something knocking on the window! Oh my god, it's over here. Oh my god, okay, let's listen to this. I don't have any parents. That's what I think. Okay, I had to protect my brother. Oh, there's something out there, dude. I only had my little brother. My friends and relatives... No one was around me. So, to... Uh, I don't remember the other letters. O's in capital letter. There was, there was some in the previous letter, too. It's not like I can't read it, but... Well, I don't want the story to stop, so I'll try to read it without being bothered by it as much as possible. Let's continue. No, they were gone. When I noticed... It was just my brother and me. Dude, who is knocking on the window? I hate that. It was unforgivable. Everything was... Oh, another capital letter. Everything was. S is in capital letter. My anger was directed at everything. Oh, no. H. Everything. Everything. I hoped for everyone's unhappiness. Ne? Oh. Unhappiness. Dude, I don't want to go over there. As I said, it's a little hard to read when there are capital letters like this. You know, it's hard to listen when there's someone knocking on the window over there, dude. Excuse me, I will continue. I always wrote the letter courteously. I wrote down everything I saw. Such letters resonate with the reader's heart. I like to see the person's face when they read it. Bringing feast to our world. My brother is always next to me. With a worried look. I hold his hand. I will, I will do what I couldn't when my brother went to sleep. Forget all the grief and the sadness. And let's all go. People often die around me. Oh my gosh. I wonder if it's my fault. Mm. You'll see. I'm in, I'm, oh my god, I'm coming to see you too. Something is written at the bottom. Have you read my letter? Oh, no. Hmm. It's all in capital letters. Letter? Oh, my God. I'm hearing stuff behind me. Do you mean this? I hate this. What do you mean? Letter. Okay. I'll look for it. You're not creeped out at all. If I find it, I'll read it next time. Oh, no. 
Oh no! Okay, we have to go see. Oh, where's it coming from? This window? I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Oh my God! There's something out the window. How may I help you? How may I help you, lady? Huh? You want the UV light? You like that? You like this light? No light? What light do you like? Huh? Oh my. How may I help you? Okay, she just disappears. That's good. She's gonna be in the room with me. I know she is. Where is she, huh? Where is she? Okay. She's closing doors. Okay. All right. One more tape. One more tape. Actually, well, we have another one after this, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Put it in. Put it in. Oh, I hate this, dude. She's in here with me or he. I don't know what it was. Oh, all right. I'm going to go outside the building. All right. I don't want to be inside the building. I want to listen to it from out here. Okay. I can listen to it from out here. This is your host, Masaki. I think those who listen to the last show will understand. Feel safer out here. We found the letter. Why is that light over there freaking out? I didn't notice it because it was sandwiched between the documents. So I'm going to read this letter for today. I don't think you should. Okay, dude. What kind of story is it this time? We're, sta we're keeping a lookout, dude. This time as well, it's a story from Doko. Doko? There seems to be something like a title this time. He's way too excited to be reading this. Let's start reading from the title. Oh, there's water down there. Oh, no. Oh, no. The letters. What happened? Oh, okay. See? Oh. The tape ends abruptly. What happens after that? He was about to read a letter. It should be between some documents. I have to find it. Oh, no, I have to go in. Oh, I hate this. All right, I'm going in. All right, where are you, huh? I ain't afraid of no ghost. Documents? 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 Anywhere? It's in here, isn't it? This is where she was. There it is. Give me the letter. There is a sticky note on the paper. Read it. Read this out loud, and you'll know when your brother died. Oh, my gosh. Read the letter. Oh, boy. The darkness of... Tonako. Little brother burns hot. And the older sister... Okay, can't read it. Tonako can't do anything. Tonako leaving alone. Not a ray of light can be seen in the darkness. Is it a monster that I see over there? Even if I invite him, he doesn't move. The ugly side cast off the vestiges. There is no island or color ahead. One bone of a wanderer. Who couldn't keep up with the white rabbit. Who is changing? Is it me, or is it someone else? Even if you put the monster beside you, reflection in the mirror only shows darkness. I fall and I fall, and yet I haven't fallen. There's nothing at my destination. Doko. So what happened? Oh no, dude. Oh my gosh. The room is flooding. Okay, I can't leave. I'm, I'm trapped. Dude, just jump out the window. Like, what? Come on, dude. D at least try to survive this. You're just sitting here and drowning. There has to be a way out, dude. Oh, my God. Something in front of me. There's something in front of me in the water. What is it? What is that? It looks like a person. It is! Okay, then. Creepy. Creepy lady. Well, I'm dead. So this is what happened to my brother. He read the document and then this happened. Oh. You should not read the darkness of Tanako. If you read it, you will die. I don't have much time left. Oh my. So it causes you to die. The letter. Wow. That is crazy. You know what he should have done? He should have tore it up before dying. Dang. Imagine a ghost that can, like, spawn in water like that. Like, force you to drown in it, too. What do I do? Oh! Got an achievement. Ending three cassette tapes. So I bet if you don't read the note, it's probably a different ending. And that's it. Hmm, no clue what is it. What is it? Isn't that the, if you read it, you're doomed thing? 
What do you mean by doomed? Someone is singing about the darkness of that. I have heard that you shouldn't read it out loud. But no one knows what the original poem is because the darkness of whatever is added lines or changed by many people, right? So it's a poem? No. What should I do? I was fooled into reading it out loud. The darkness, little brother burns. Yeah, this is the same thing that we already read. Not a ray of light can be seen in the darkness. Yeah, we read this. One bone, who can keep up with the white rabbit? Who is changing? Reflection in the mirror only shows darkness. There's nothing at my destination. That's not funny. If you think you're doing us a favor, you're well, you're not. What if someone reads it? R.I.P. LMAO. <laughs> Guys, can I get an R.I.P. LMAO in the comment section down below if you made it to this part? Did you know that they found a voice memo that says not that says not read the darkness was found? This is my first time hearing about the darkness, and I'm freaking out. I'm going to read it. Stop it, seriously. Just let them do whatever. They're gonna read it anyways. Who's the person who recorded it? What happened to that person? I heard that the person read and recorded it right away because he thought it was dangerous. You shouldn't read it, and if you read it, you're doomed, are basically the same. You should be more specific about what will happen. Aren't they awesome? Respect. Those who read aloud will die. So if you read the darkness of whatever, uh, you die. So that's what happened to me and my brother. Or my brother and me, I should say. Wow, wow, wow. That was a cool little horror story. I like how it was like a bunch of little horror stories in one. And then things started happening at the end. And I don't know. I, th I think that was a good that was a good game. And his other games I heard were really good too. So I, I definitely want to check him out. If you guys want to see him, let me know. Leave a like on the video. And uh, let me know what one of his games you'd like to see me play next. All right, well guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys made all the time in this video, drop a comment down below saying RIP LMAO. Let me see how many you guys did. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.